Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Star Trek Online. This is Captain Ron Phillips here, back with our Romulan Captain Octavian here. We just did a mission where we went back to Viranet, back to our home planet under the instruction of uh, Charva, an old friend of Tovan's, to uh, prove that the Romulan Republic are indeed, in fact, terrorists. Now, in, although she is technically tall Shi'ar, I do believe she's one who's probably... Uh, being brainwashed by the propaganda as well because we went to Viranat and as you saw we ran into some um, Another representative of Rep Romulan Republic who was sent there to do the same thing only the opposite we were there to find evidence of quote-unquote uh, weapons and he was there to be sent to After the, a team of, of Romulans who was supposedly hiding the evidence and we were supposed to be arrested so we got set up Charva doesn't know anything about that, though. She thinks that we're at, that the Republic is still the terrorist, and the Tall Shiar is right. So as I re, as we uh, re told, told Republic Command about that, we got another mission while we're checking with Charva and some of her other stuff. Need to go to this system, the Memphis system here. It's called Bigger Picture. We've had some Romulan Republic ships disappear um, over the last couple of weeks here at this system here, so they want us to check it out while they're confirming more crap from Charva see until she pops back up again so let's see what's going on over here this is called bigger picture and let's see if we can find some of these missing ships let's take a look we've arrived at the source of the distress signal Scanning the area now. All right, any ships in the area? A Cardassian vessel is dead ahead, sir. It is surrounded by a field of subspace distortion. And I'm reading a spike in the ship's Tetrion emissions. That's odd. Any life signs? Scans at this range are inconclusive. The radiation is interfering with our sensors. Hypothesis on the cause of the distortion? The ship is badly damaged, but there's no clear relationship between the distortion and the ship. I ran a comparison to the anomalies we scanned previously in the Kittimer system. While they appear similar at first look, the spike in Tetrions is different from what we've seen before. Well, let's go get a closer scan. Sir, there's no sign of a Republic vessel in the area. Whatever happened here is unfortunate, but I recommend we continue our search elsewhere. It may look suspicious if we linger. We'll be cautious, Tovin. Approach the ship, please. Wherever it is. And yes, we are moving closer to it. Don't worry, folks. I don't see the ship though. Does anybody see the ship? Full impulse just went offline. Expected cause is the Holding distortion field. To activate and near the derelict ship. Oh, there it is. The ship appears to have sustained damage, but not enough to disable primary functions or life support. There is one hull breach, but an emergency force field is in place. The ship appears to be deserted, but even at this range I can't be certain. There is significant interference from the localized radiation. Can we access their computer remotely? Cardassians use a recursive encryption algorithm to protect their data from unauthorized access. We'd have to be on their bridge to tap into their systems. Then that's what we'll do. We have no idea what happened to this ship. We could be putting ourselves at risk for the sake of curiosity. I recommend we leave and continue our search elsewhere. I understand that, Tovan. But Republic ships may have suffered the same fate. We need to investigate. It's your call. But if you're going over to that ship, 
then I'm coming with you. That's a good idea. Thank you. Transport us to their bridge. Interesting. No visible damage. Why would they abandon the ship? The bridge appears operational, but where's the crew? We need to know what happened here. Scan for life signs and check the security logs. No other life signs detected. We're alone. Check the recent log activity. They didn't vanish without a trace. Here's something odd. There are no corpses on this ship. According to the logs, they were attacked. The ship description fits what we've seen of the Alachi. Several security logs were accessed recently. I think you're going to want to see this. The security recording is from three days ago. That looked like a subspace rift. Whatever it is, it explains why there aren't any corpses. Are there any more recordings? One more. Pulling it up now. Okay. Were they able to identify their attackers? Wait. That noise. Several ships are on approach and requesting status. Sir, they're Cardassian. Ship, transport us back to the bridge immediately. Cardassians scan the derelict ship. They want to talk to you, sir. I'll put them on screen. The only true way for Cardassians is the way of conquest. Okay. Lower your shields and surrender immediately. We carry an order of reprisal signed by Empress Sela, authorizing us to seize and detain Republic vessels. Considering your situation, I suggest you view this offer as a generous opportunity to save your crew. Ha 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 ha. I ain't surrendering. That is unfortunate. Your ship would be worth far more undamaged. This is your last chance. Feel free to use the escape pods if necessary. Cardassian fool, no wonder the Dominion abandoned you. Two more waves are approaching the system. Recommend a defensive posture with power to shields. Press the right button to set your ship's power levels to have a focus on attack, defense, auxiliary, or speed. Don't worry, I've already got that taken care of. Alright, come on, buddy boy. Cloak indeed. We're not going to worry about that right now. Come on, baby. Load. Give me a load. Oh, ho, ho.
trophy for the true way. Oh, great, a Kelvin class. Oh, that's only their battleship. Sir, I was monitoring messages during the battle and was able to isolate a long-range transmission. The Cardassian battleship sent a message to a location in the Eta Eridani sector block. I've been unable to pinpoint the exact destination, but I'll continue to monitor the frequency and listen for further transmissions. Excellent thinking, Satra. Let me know if you hear anything. The Cardassians were unaware of what had happened to their missing vessel. It appears the Alachi attacked them while they were hunting for our ships. Bad luck. We should destroy the derelict. Let the true way think that the Republic defeated all of their patrols. Agreed. Scuttle the ship. Intel, Sela has started paying privateers to capture or destroy Romulan Republic ships. That would explain why these Cardassians are operating outside their normal territory. I suggest we track these true way ships back to their base. If we're lucky, they'll lead us right to the missing Republic ships. Follow the true way out of the system. Indeed. Sounds like a good idea to me. Here we go. Alright. To the Donatu system, which is way over here. Alright, we'll be back here in just a second, folks. Alright, here we are outside the Donatu system. I want to say it's over on this side. I think I'd be completely wrong. Oh, there it is. Alright. Let's carry on here. Continue bigger picture. Yes. Sir, a magnetic field is surrounding a large concentration of asteroids dead ahead. I've run a sweep for Republic transponders, but either the Cardassians removed it or there's too much interference for sensors to get a lock. There's also a Cardassian satellite dead ahead that may be impending our, or impeding our scans. I apologize. Satcher, what do we know of this system? Donato 2 was a Class J planetoid locked in orbit along with several hundred large asteroids. Because the planetoid has an iron core and is relatively close to the star, there's a significant magnetosphere trapping stellar, winding, stellar, wi trapping stellar wind plasma. Yeah. This is why I'm not a science officer, folks. <laughs> the resulting magnetic flux in numerous asteroids will prevent us from safely using full impulse once we enter the field. Yikes. Alright, Tovan, give me tactical analysis. 
The Cardassians are most likely using the magnetic fluctuations in this area to hide their privateer operations. Our sensors were able to pick out a nearby satellite and a location located in the asteroid belt. I've marked a location of them both on our tactical map. All right, let's approach this satellite. Recommend we stay cloaked as we approach the station, sir. Absolutely. Ooh, heavy phaser beam turrets. In addition to the magnetic interference, the Cardassians have mined the asteroid field ahead with the defensive turrets. This satellite appears to be a targeting array and fire controller for those turrets. We may be able to access the satellite's programming, but there's a chance that if we do so, we'll alert the Cardassians. Well, let's try it. Access the satellite. I've successfully accessed the control layer within the satellite's operational routines. The satellite is sending commands to several nearby defensive turrets. We may be able to insert a malicious command that might disable or neutralize many of the turrets. What's your command? Well, let's go ahead and override them. The new programming routine has been successfully uploaded, sir. Not all of the turrets in the area were susceptible, but we've softened the defenses between our ship and the Cardassian station. All right, here we go. If we Begin avoid ourself. the magnetic flux energy, we should be able to remain cloaked as we approach the station. Enter the magnetic field. Impulse engines now offline. Hmm. I was trying to make this fast for everybody, but it didn't work out that way. At least we're not touching the orange stuff, the other, that stuff there, or else we'll lose our sheet, or we'll lose our cloaking device. Whoop! Let's go down. Thank you. Get away from these phaser turrets. Come on, baby, let's get going. Too much farther, I don't believe. Ah, there you are. Up, oh, there's a Republic ship right there. All right, you boys. We're within range of the station. We should take out the turrets first, then the patrol. Well, where's the turrets? Ah, oh, right there. Ooh, a heavy photon torpedo turret. Ooh, hang on here. I didn't sign up for that.
rats. Thought I got a quick shot on her, but I guess not. All right, come on. We've crippled the station defenses, but it's only a matter of time before they summon reinforcements. A Republic Warbird is being held in the station's dock, and scans indicate that there are at least some of the crew being held in the station's brig. The station's command center is hailing us. On screen. Your brazen attack on this station is further proof that the Romulan Republic is nothing more than a terrorist cabal. We've contacted the legitimate Romulan government and alerted them to your presence. Any further acts of terror against this station or any Cardassian citizen will be met with deadly force. Release the Republic ship and her crew now. Your ignorance of Cardassian history is insulting. We do not listen to demands. We give them. Close the channel. Give me a location for the Romulan crew. The crew is being held in a detention area on the station's outer ring. The area is shielded to prevent transport. We need to get to the crew to their ship. The station operates on several fusion reactors located at the base of the central core. If we configure our deflector to emit a high amplitude electromagnetic waves, it will disrupt the inertial lasers in their reactors. The safety protocols would cause a temporary power shutdown. If we time it properly, there'll be a window of opportunity as the Cardassians switch to backup power. We'll be able to transport the crew to their ship. We'll make the deflector modifications, Veril. That's not a bad idea. Deflector modification complete, ready to send the pulse on your command. All by all means. Station power is fluctuating, transporting Republic crew back to their ship now. Hail Republic I assume crew. we can thank you for our escape. Before you transported us, I overheard a guard saying that more true way ships were approaching. We need time to restore emergency power. Please provide cover until we are able to go to warp. Absolutely. Warp to the flotilla as soon as you can. We'll cover you. Cardassian ships on long-range sands. 
Preparing to warp out of the system. Sounds good to me. anybody else coming well, what are we waiting for let's get going the Republic ship is safely warped out of the system sir excellent the Republic warbird has warped to safety we need to report to Subcommander Nadal and inform her of the Cardassian privateering operations in this sector. We recommend we leave the system before any additional Cardassian reinforcements arrive. Yes, indeed. Out of here. All right. And we hail Subcommander Nadal. Excellent. I hope that your new starship has performed to your satisfaction. Now that we know about Sila's attempts to capture our ships, we'll order our commanders to exercise additional caution in territory near two-way space, or with other groups that might try their hand at privateering. I have received some new intelligence from our allies that may be of use to us. Expect to hear from me shortly. All right. We we'll get to choose one reward here. What we want here. Uh, we'll get something for the cannons. Time is Congratulations. Oh my goodness. Got a bunch of uh, duty officers there. <laughs> All right. And... All right. So, that's that, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me today real quick for the bigger picture here. If you liked the episode, hit the like button. I certainly hope you did. Subscribe to the Captain Ron Phillips channel. And if there is a bell there to let you know whenever I got a video out, go ahead and hit that to be notified. And I will see you next time. I do believe next time Charva will make another appearance. Let's see here. Let's find out here. Should pop up here any second. Charva, smash and grab. I know you've been looking for Tovan's sister, Rena. I've managed to find out some more information about her. She was captured in the Feban system. She's been questioned by the Tall Shiar, and now they're moving her and other prisoners to a penal colony deep in Romulan space. They'll be using civilian transports lightly guarded by a few Romulan Star Empire ships. She'll be on a transport passing through the Kinkuthanza system. Yeah, Kinkuthanza, okay. If you don't go now, you'll never see her again. I'm risking my position to tell you this. Don't make me regret my decision. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you, Charva. So now we possibly can rescue uh, Tovan's sister, Rena. And that's called Smash and Grab. And, ooh, that's actually down here. In Klingon space. That's not Romulan space. That's Klingon space. Ouch. I say, because there's Kronos right there. Oh, dear. All right. Well, let me turn around here. And again, thank you, everybody, for uh, joining me in this episode here, The Bigger Picture. I hope you all enjoyed it. And again, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell below, and we will see you next time. Have a good one, everybody.